Now let's talk about vectors. A vector is a quantity with both direction and size. Direction is going to tell you how many you're moving left or right and how many you're moving up or down. The size is going to tell you how many units you're going to move. We represent a vector by an arrow drawn from one point to another on grid paper. The initial point of the vector is the starting point of the vector, and that's P in the diagram here. The initial point is the side of the vector that doesn't have the arrow on it. It's your starting point. We're starting at P. The terminal point is the ending point of the vector, and that's going to be the side of the vector that has the arrow pointing to it. Here it's Q in the diagram. It's important to note that vectors won't always go to the right. Sometimes your vector might move to the left, so make sure when you're finding your initial point that you're looking for the side of the vector that doesn't have the arrow on it. This vector here is telling us to move right 5 and up 3. Every vector will have both a horizontal and a vertical component. The horizontal component moves the point either right or left. If the horizontal component is positive, that's going to move the point to the right. And if the horizontal component is negative, that's going to move to the left. Think of the horizontal component as like the x value. On a coordinate plane, the x value tells us how many to go left or right. So positive x's are to the right. So positive horizontal component, I'm going to go to the right. Negative x's are on the left of the coordinate plane. For our vertical component, think of the vertical component as the y component. It's your up and your down. If the vertical component is positive, the point is going to move up. We know that the positive y values are up here. If the vertical component is negative, that's going to move it down, just like the negative y values on the y-axis are down below. The component form of a vector combines both the horizontal and vertical components. We always list the horizontal component first. So 5 is my horizontal component, and 3 is my vertical component. And in words, since 5 is positive for horizontal, we know that that's 5 units to the right. Since 3 is positive for the vertical, positive goes up. If you're given the component form, it's just a good idea to think about it in terms of up, down, left, or right, because you're actually going to be performing um, translations using vectors today. So let's say that my vector was negative 4, negative 2. Well, now the negative 4, my horizontal component is negative. That tells me that I'm going to move left 4. And negative 2 in the vertical direction is down. So that vector would take me left 4 and down 2.